Have you seen this picture before? This was taken by the Apollo astronauts in 1968, and it has changed our perception of the Earth. Within NASA, it also led to a strong commitment to understand and protect our planet. Since the early 1970s, terabytes upon terabytes of data from a number of NASA satellites have allowed us to study the, the Earth, the oceans, the land, and, and, and the air in completely new ways relative to what we imagined before. What these observations have shown us is that the Earth is an extremely dynamic planet. Changes are everywhere you look, and they're all interconnected. For example, a, a slight warming in the Pacific Ocean can cause unfavorable conditions for coffee growers in Southeast Asia. And all of a sudden, you begin to realize you're paying 20% more for your morning coffee. We know changes like these happen often. The question is, what drives these changes? Are the drivers themselves changing over time? Are they natural? Or is it something we human beings did to the Earth system? Solving these mysteries is the job of NASA Earth Science. And then the job requires collecting, managing, analyzing, and integrating a vast number of observations. Above all, it also requires a collaborative workforce from different disciplines. And as you would expect, only few places around the world can do this well. Often, scientists spend as much as 80% of the time dealing with the data in their own discipline. Forget about crossing over to other disciplines. I mean, take me, I'm a land guy. I'm good at land analysis, but I have only a vague idea about what happens over the oceans that I know relates to what I do, but I have difficulty connecting the dots. We need to engage more people and empower them to connect the dots and bring it all together. Imagine for a moment what it would be like to have a place where you as a scientist can go, have access to all the data, models, and algorithms about the Earth system. And you would no longer waste your time or resources creating a solution that already exists but in a different discipline or a group. In this place, you are empowered to test your ideas, create new solutions, improve upon old ones, collaborate, and share. Well, we built it. It's called the NASA Earth Exchange, and or NEX. The NASA Earth Exchange is a scientific social networking portal backed by the power of NASA supercomputing and Earth observing systems. NEXT brings together the best of NASA Earth science with information technology to provide a site where scientists can come together, connect with each other, share solutions among the disciplines, and discuss and formulate new ideas. Then we have a, a cloud computing based sandbox where scientists can try out their ideas. And all of this is supported by a large infrastructure populated with key data sets from NASA and other sources. And we chose to co-locate the data and the computing because we think some of these data sets are so large we cannot move them on the net as easily as before. Okay, so now let's look at the power of these collaborative frameworks like NEX with an example. The Amazon rainforests have experienced two extreme droughts in a span of 10 years, unprecedented. I mean, you don't put rainforest and drought together in one sentence. Because the rainforests are such an important player in the global climate system, we wanted to understand what are the causes and consequences of these droughts. After the first one, in 2005, before the NEX, we had to methodically go and download the data sets, the rainfall data from Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, vegetation from US Geological Survey in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and cloud data from Langley in Virginia. 
Then we had to write the codes to analyze these data sets, first separately, and then together to understand the drought and its impact on the Amazon vegetation. And it took a team of scientists one and a half years to process and analyze the data before reporting on the 2005 drought. In contrast, the 2010 drought analysis, guess how long it took? Using the NEX and by modifying the workflow that we created for the 2005 drought, we were able to complete the entire analysis in one month. Okay, so what took 18 months before, we were able to finish in one month. Everything about the study, the data, the algorithms, and the models are available on NEX. The process is, is transparent, it's repeatable, and it's open innovation. And we believe this is the new way to do earth science. Next time, when you have an idea to improve NEX, or you have a hypothesis that you want to test, or you have an application that you want to contribute to NEX, please come and join our, our community. Connect, collaborate, compute, solve, and share. Let's work together to understand and protect our planet. Thank you.